When I was really young, I was really into animals and I spent a lot of time away. I lived in the jungle for a bit actually and I was sort of quite wild and watched David Attenborough on television. I thought that's what I'm going to be. And then I became a teenager and discovered girls and partying and DJing and, you know, having been a bit naughty and stuff like that, it actually makes you a more interesting person. And if you can channel that into your creativity, potentially you've got different references to everyone else around you. I got to the point in the BBC where I was making really good programs, well, hopefully, and, and you know, they were popular and stuff, but I didn't want to play that kind of corporate ladder game and the politics of the BBC. And I, I guess one of the things I say is don't go up the ladder, you know, climb up the tree, <laughs> you know. If everyone's on the ladder, go and do something slightly different because it gives you a different perspective. So the, this guy who um, ran the original TED Talks, before they were TED Talks, it was called the EG, and uh, he said, I want you to come and do a talk. And I can remember just shaking and not being able to breathe, but this guy's going, no, you'll be okay, just be yourself. And you know, I got up and for the first five minutes, I was really, really scared and shy. And then you suddenly thought, okay, this is okay. I'm doing this. This guy who asked me to do it, kept inviting me back. He really liked it. So I ended up doing it for six years and he really kind of mentored me. And I think that's when you really flourish is when you're persuaded, encouraged and nurtured to take that next step into that really scary thing.